are we doing today, everybody? I have another fine episode that has been broke down for me by the breakdown guy. Do we have a breakdown guy? We don't have a breakdown guy. You're the breakdown guy. You are behind the camera, the breakdown guy. We talked about it. It's a Tiny Tins episode. It's gonna be set up for you, and it's two really, really good ones. One you've probably heard of, the other one maybe you haven't, but you're gonna to wanna to check them out when we're done. So you ready? Here we go. Tiny Tins is gonna start now. All right, Tiny Tins. We are got the Havoc, Havoc, woohoo, RDB1556. And we have the Legend Craft Bandit SS 1556. Yeah, Legend Craft Bandit. Like, Smokey and the Bandit. The Bandit. I am the Bandit. That one. The Bandit SS 1556. So, we got two competitive boats here. Um, and when we called on these, we called for entry level. We wanted them bare bones. We wanted boat, trailer. That's what we wanted. So, Jordan, my producer and film guy, has labeled these one, two, three, four. So this is the order he wants me to go about this. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, just for him. We're gonna see how this goes. You ready? One, it says, number one, Havoc, RDB 1556. Here's your specs on it, you ready? They're gonna be over here, I think. Are they gonna be on this side or this side? Havoc here, Havoc over here. Havoc's over here. All right, so Havoc's gonna be over here. Here we go. Length is 15 feet. Max horsepower, 50 horse. 50 horsepower uh, maximum. Transom height, 21 inches. 21 inch transom height, hull material. Aluminum, obviously, 0 .080. 0 .080 or .080, however you wanna talk. I put an O in just cause it's like O. All right, dry weight of this boat, remember this, 505 pounds, 505, dry weight, boom. All right, so let's jump over to number two. Number two says, Legend Craft Bandit SS 1556. Specs, ready? They're gonna be over here. Length, 15 feet. Max horsepower, 40 horse. 40 horse on this side, 50 horse on this side. You'll be able to see that, I can't. Um, transom height, 21 inches, same. Material, obviously aluminum. Um, 0 0.080 or 0 0.080, however you wanna say it. Uh, same material, dry weight, 370 pounds. 370, 505. Doot, doot, doot. Now, if you've never seen a Legend Craft, maybe you've never seen a Havoc, maybe you've never seen either one of these. Check them out. Make sure you go check them out and see what we're comparing it. I'm sure uh, Jordan's gonna have this fine picture here and over here of what they look like, so you'll kind of be able to see them, but I would go in depth with it. Um, go to their websites, take a look at them. Number three is we go to price, all right? You ready for the price on the Havoc? This is the price on the Havoc, so it'll be over here. Um, the boat trailer cost, 10 grand. Boat trailer, 10 grand, ish. Give or take, we don't know exactly where it's gonna be just because they couldn't really give us an answer because material prices. The new pricing hasn't come out, I don't think, on either one of these boats, but it's gonna be around 10,000 bucks. Could be a little less, could be a little more, probably depends on what dealer you go see, if you can find one. Uh, motor cost, we went with a Suzuki 50. Now, the, the, this is high end, the, you can get this 50 cheaper. We just went with the MSRP pricing and the MSRP pricing on the tiller handle. Somebody's gonna say that motor cheaper, but we just went equal to equal, nose to nose, head to head, same stuff, here we go, all right, let's get to it. Uh, motor cost Suzuki 50, 95.25. That's with the tiller handle, the big tiller. Trim on the end, beep, 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 beep. Shift here, little stuff here, ready to go. That's that one. Tiller mode, or the troll mode. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, that's that, so it's got the big tiller on it. The accessory cost, you know about the accessories, but we'll get to them. You want me to tell them right now? I'm going to. Um, Altrex 80, MDI, iPilot, up front. Helix 10, up front. Precision bow mount, up front. Three batteries, all. Standard flooded, 227s, 124, same as the last video, and the Minkota 220 PC charger. Bink! So there's our accessories for four, four grand. 4,000, 4,600 bucks. So, the grand total of the Havoc, boat, motor, trailer, and our accessories, which you just heard, um, 24,125. All right, so that's where we're at. Ready? Let's jump over to this side. Legend Craft. Boat trailer costs around 8,000 bucks, around. I think you get it cheaper actually. I think coming around 78-ish, maybe 75, 76-ish. Um, but we went to 8,000 um, bucks just because they didn't know price materials and what new pricing was. But So the motor costs now, we gotta go to 40. Because we can't put a 50 on this one, we gotta put a 40 on this one. Um, 91.75, big tiller, 40. Obviously you'll be able to get it cheaper. I'd sell it to you cheaper, la-di-da-di-da. Um, accessory costs, 
4600, same accessories, same accessories. So we got different motor, different motor, same accessories, different brand name of the boat. I think when you go to look at the boats, you're gonna see they're pretty familiar um, when it comes to what they look like. Some change, some differences, obviously front end differences probably, um, but the hull itself looks pretty, pretty much the same. It's the same 15 foot, 56 inch wide bottom. So that's what we're kind of basing it on when we talking about this entry level, just getting in SS style. This is their fast boats. These are their speed boats. These are the ones that I think are designed to just rip down the creek, if you know what I mean. Um, so if I'm gonna go, let's just say we go into the, I'm just gonna flip this a little bit really quick, just flip it. Let's say we just wanna go get a flat bottom with nothing on it. So we got 10 grand, we got, and so we got about 19.5 on that side and we got roughly 17.175 on this side. So, I mean, to get yourself a pretty bad ass, just straight up flat, that's mm, pretty good. Um, we talked about warranty also. I don't know, do you want me to go into that a little bit about warranty? Um, Havoc has a, basically a non-transferable lifetime warranty. So to the original buyer, it's a lifetime warranty. Um, some people are probably gonna talk about this on here, which would be kind of good. I've heard some horror stories about Havoc, some welds. We had a couple in here. I wasn't necessarily, displeased with how the boat looked. I was more displeased with the finishing stuff. The rub rail not finished. Some of the welds kind of looked like uh, maybe, uh, maybe had a little hiccup or something or um, whatever. Um, but I have not physically touched or seen this Legend Craft. I have physically talked to the owner of Legend Craft. I've had two or three conversations with this guy. Super nice guy, super, super nice guy. Two year warranty on that hull, correct? Two year warranty on the hull. So they're gonna, I think that's transferable too. So you could buy it, transfer it to another person, I believe. Now don't hold me to that. You'll know more if you call the dealer. Um, but that's a two year warranty on that hull. So you basically, on a quick rundown, we got the same lake boat, same width on the bottom, 10 more horsepower on the Havoc side, 40 horse on this side, 21 inch transom, same material. This boat's coming in a little heavier. This boat's coming in a little lighter. So where is it happening? I don't know. I didn't really get to talk to uh, Legendcraft about that. I, I know that Havoc is using some pretty heavy material. I know they're welding probably closer together with some bracing and stuff like that. Um, so they're built probably a little bit stronger. So when it comes to the speed thing, if we're talking about that, I still think Legendcraft will keep up with the Havoc. Maybe not, don't know, but 24,125 24, over here. 21,775 over here. So it's a $3,000 difference-ish, kind of. Now, when it came to information, when we talk about information, because you know I'm a fan of information, receiving information, whether it be from the company or a dealer that's really engaged. Because when I call, I make it perfectly clear, I'm not buying a boat. I'm not gonna just, I'm not, I'm not even interested in the boat. I want to, I'm interested in the boat to a standard where I can do a video. And yeah, I can always tell by the tone of their voice, you know? What is it? And some of them are like, oh, okay, whatever. And the other ones are excited. I mean, they're like, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. Legendcraft, when I talked to the owner of Legendcraft, um, we ended up, basically he forwarded me to a, a dealer. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna give you any pricing, which is cool, I get that, because pricing is set for dealers and stuff like that, I guess. So he sent me to Alan down at Thompson Marine. Alan is a cool dude. He answers my call every time I call him. Um, he knows I'm not buying it. He knows it was all about just this video. He answered all of our questions, all of our questions. So if you're interested in this Legend Craft, definitely go down and talk or call Alan down there at Legend Craft at Thompson Marine. You get a hold of him at Thompson Marine. Type in, he does not have a website, he said, but he's got Facebook. Type in Thompson Marine and you can get a hold of him. Now, Havoc, we couldn't even get a phone number for Havoc. We had to Google Havoc boat's phone number to get a phone number for Havoc. We've got a phone number. It says, and we got a Hannah. We got Hannah down there at Havoc who did the best she could, let's just say, with some of the questions we were answering. Um, they strive for customer service, it says, but the thing that bothers me is, is there's, I, there's no number for me to talk to them. I wanna be able to talk directly to owners or, you know, not that Hannah didn't do the best she could, but even when I called her back today, we were still kind of ruffling through paperwork to try to figure out what I had. I, when I call these companies, I like to talk to the owners or somebody that's been with the company for 20 years or something like that, because it, you get right to the heart, you get to the soul of what's going on. I just, 
The beat around the bush thing bothers me when it comes to customer service. It bothers me that I'm spending 24 grand and I'm gonna have something wrong with my boat, which I know somebody in lacrosse here did have something wrong with this boat. And it was kind of a big circle cluster mess that he ended up fixing himself. So that kind of stuff resonates inside of me as fire and I don't really like it. Where I feel when I'm buying these boats side by side, I think the Havoc is gonna be probably built just a little bit better. Now all the guys at Legendcraft will probably fight me on that, but hear me out Legendcraft guys. I'm gonna go with the Legendcraft boat if I'm gonna buy one of these two boats. If it's coming down to a comparison thing and it's coming down, granted it's a little bit lighter, probably not built as strong as the Havoc, but two year warranty, um, it's 21,000. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit cheaper, but I feel that I could probably call Legendcraft back in three years and they probably would help me. They would do something if something was wrong or have it fixed locally and we'll help you out, something like that. They just seem like good guys. They, were, they just seem like, you know, hardworking, blue collar, good guys. Not that Le Havoc is not by any means, but I was able just to talk to the heart of the company and I appreciate that. I appreciate them taking that phone call. So if I'm gonna pick one, I'm gonna go with the Legendcraft Bandit SS 1556. I've looked at the pictures. I like it. I like some of the reviews. I've talked to some people on Tiny Tins on Facebook about them. Some of them have them. Um, and I, I like it. I like the boat. I like the idea that Alan down at Thompson Marine talked to me for quite some time about the boats. Um, and he knew I wasn't buying. So at the end, 24, 125 over here, 21, 775 over here. I'm going over here. I am. That's my preference. Obviously you can pick, but I think they're both bad boats. I really do. I think they're both bad boats. I like the way they're flat. I like the way they look. I like everything about both of those brands of boats. Um, Havoc has got some sweet pictures on their website of some flats that are just amazing. And Legendcraft does too. They got some gator looking print on the side, but um, you know, I know there's gonna be guys on here that says Havoc all the way, and that's cool. That's what I want. I want this kind of competition to happen too. So I'm gonna go with Legendcraft. Maybe I'd be wrong, but I'm just gonna go with Legendcraft because A, I wanna see what I wanna put in my hands, and I think that those people there are gonna get a hold of me. Um, that's basically the whole tide turner right here. There's no way for me to get a hold of anybody except for emailing. And when I start to email, I'm a communication kind of guy. That's the reason why I'm sitting in front of you people. I like to be able to talk. I don't like the email. I hate emails. I don't like even like looking at my phone when it says 168 emails. I know you guys are emailing me all the time. It's not that I don't want to talk to you. It's just I don't really have time for emails. So I'd rather call somebody and talk to somebody quickly. Five, ten minutes, boom, done, off the phone. I like that. So maybe I'm old school. Maybe I was raised that way. I don't know. Maybe I'm not modern enough, Jordan. Maybe I'm not cool enough for this century, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm going with Legendcraft. You can go what you want to. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, let's comment down here, talk about it a little bit. You got a Legendcraft, talk to me about it. Let these people know about this. I'd like people to go look at these Legendcraft boats. You got a Havoc, pull some people your way. So let's battle, battle this thing out. Let's talk about it a little bit. So as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I call speed, money, no breaks. I am out, see ya.